An insurance policy is written to cover a loss X that has density function three X squared by eight. The time to process a claim of size X where X is between zero and two is uniformly distributed in the interval X to two X. Calculate the probability that the randomly chosen claim on this policy is processed in three hours or more. So let the processing time be Y. And uh, in a joint PDF situation, uh, we, uh, when you are given just a PDF of one of the variables like F of X over here, so what, that's the same thing uh, which we uh, sometimes also write F subscript big X of X. Um, usually the subscript is omitted if you are dealing with only one variable. Um, but if you're dealing with two variables, then sometimes you have to write it to make sure which variable you are talking about. And so FXX is given to be three X squared by eight from X zero to two. And we are calling the processing time as Y. And actually we are told that um, given a claim of size X, although the word given is not here, but you can see it implied here that uh, to process a claim of size X, which means uh, given that the claim is of size X, uh, the Y is uniformly distributed from X to two X. So it means that we are given the conditional density of Y. So Y given X, uh, so it's uniform from X to two X. So it'd be one over two X minus X uh, from X to two X, Y goes from X to two X. And then the joint PDF is, uh, as we've seen a couple of times before, it's the product of FXX and F of Y, Y given X. So you multiply this and this and you get uh, 3x by eight and the two bounds x from zero to two and y from x to two x. So the region is drawn below, uh, y is going from x to two x. So you draw the y equals x line and you draw the y equals two x line. So instead of writing it as y equals two x, I've written it as x equals y by two because that's how we'll be using it in integration. And uh, so, and then the X goes from zero to two. So this is the X equals two line. Um, and therefore this whole <coughs> triangle, the big triangle is the total region, but we are interested in probability of time being more than three hours, more than or equal to three hours. So we are interested in the region uh, above the line y equals three, so the yellow region. So that will be our region of integration. Now, if the joint PDF were constant, which it's not, it's three X by eight. Remember in the previous problem, the joint PDF was constant. Therefore, in that situation, you can just find the area um, of the integration and that is your probability that you're looking for. But here, because of a variable joint PDF, this X spoils the fun. And uh, that means that it's no longer just the area. So you do have to go through the double integration. So you want Y bigger than or equal to three. Yeah, Y three hours or more. So probability Y bigger than or equal to three, you will carry out the double integration of the joint PDF over this region. So in this region, uh, it's slightly more convenient if you go the X bounds first. So X is equal to Y by two on this line because this is the Y equals two X line and then X equals two on this line. So X goes from Y by two to two and then Y is three here and Y is four here. And uh, uh, how do we get that Y is four here? Because this is the line mm, Y equals two X and X is two on this point. And so Y would be two times two, which is four. And 
the PDF was the joint PDF was 3x by 8. So you double integrate that over that yellow region. And so this is 3x squared by 16 and x going from y by 2 to x. And pull the 3 by 16 now. So this is just x squared. So it'd be 2 squared, which is 4. And then you put y by 2 whole squared, it'd be y squared by 4. And then the integral of 4 is 4y. Y squared is y cubed by 3. So it becomes y cubed by 12, 3 to 4. Put in the bounds. And in the end, you get 0.17, which is choice A.